Hello, my name is Jacob Wittenberg, and I'd like to welcome you to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. In today's quick session, we will walk you through the steps on post-processing a TerraSync GNSS rover file in GPS Pathfinder Office using base data collected with a Trimble survey grade receiver. The base files are typically not in a format that GPS Pathfinder Office can recognize or post-process with. Because of this, we'll first need to convert the files to a RINAX format. Then, we'll need to tell Pathfinder Office where our base station was located. To do this, we'll need to create a manual base station in Pathfinder Office's Differential Correction Wizard. Last, we'll run the Differential Correction Wizard and view our results. To begin, we'll need to convert your base files to a RINAX format. In this example, I have a TO2 base file that was collected using a Trimble R8 receiver that we will convert to a RINAX format. Trimble provides a free, simple to use utility that allows you to convert raw base files to RINAX format. The program is called Convert to RINAX. If you don't already have this software, it's available as a direct download from our FPI mapping support page or from Trimble's website. Once installed, you can open the Convert to RINAX program. Then select File, Open, and choose your base file that you want to convert and then tap open. It'll take a few seconds for it to scan. Once finished, it'll show you a report of the base file. You'll notice that the output folder is the same as the input folder for the converted file. This makes it easy to find your file after the conversion. Click on File and Convert. And again, this will take a few seconds. and you'll get a notification of completion on the bottom. Once complete, we can close this program. Then we can open GPS Pathfinder Office. And we'll want to access the Differential Correction Wizard. You can access this from the toolbar or go to Utilities and Differential Correction. Then we'll need to select our SSF files for correction. Click the plus, choose your file you want to differentially correct, and click open. Once you've selected your files, click next. Choose your processing type and your HDART processing if applicable, and choose next. Modify your correct settings if necessary and click Next. If working with high accuracy capable equipment such as a Geo XH or a Geo 7X decimeter or centimeter edition unit, you will generally get the best results by entering in your own base station location rather than using the reference position from the base files. As a reminder, the reference positions from the base file is specified as an estimated position and may not meet your accuracy requirement when working at this level. We can manually create a base provider in the base provider search window. Choose this option and click select. Then we will need to click on new. In the organization window, give your base station a name. Then select the base station tab and enter in the coordinates for your base station. Then 
If you want, you can select the capability for your base provider as well. Click Apply, and then choose OK. And you'll see it's now populated in the list. You can click OK to exit this screen. Now we can select the Use Reference Position from Base Provider and choose the base provider that we just created. Choose the base provider and click OK. If your base files are stored or contained within your project folder, you can navigate to that folder using the folder search option. Choose this option and click Select. Browse to the contents. Mine's already looking at the right directory, so I'll click OK. Now choose Next. Ensure you have the correct output folder and output file name settings selected, and choose Start. This may take a few minutes. After the processing is finished, you can click Close. Then you can open and view your corrected file. If we measure our positional precision, you'll see that our accuracy came out to be about a centimeter. This concludes our session on post-processing using a Rhinex format base file in GPS Pathfinder Office. I hope you found this video beneficial and will join us again next time. Thanks.